So when I woke up this morning, I was feeling a little lighter, like I felt like I'd leaned out. So I measured myself and I've gone down another centimetre around my waist. I jumped on the scales and it was 104.5 last time I got on, which was really only, I think, like three, four days ago. And now I'm 104.1. I feel like, like the weight's like starting to just drop off, which is really good. But more so than that, it's like I feel good. I'm a bit puffy now because I, I literally just woke up and fed the animals. But, um, yeah, I've what I've been doing is um, I've been focusing on foods that make me feel good, that digest really well, that don't give me any symptoms like I noticed with white, the white potatoes that I get <clears throat> phlegmy after them. So I've kind of stopped having white potatoes for a while and I've just been having sweet potato mostly because I kind of like it. Um, I like to, I'm like i into the baked sweet potato at the moment and eating, you know, most of my calories from fruit and other than that, steamed vegetables or veggie soups with no overts, no salt. Um, and that seems to be working. So, and hydrating really well and... Um, I hadn't been sleeping the best, as in, like I'd just been going to bed. When you've got more energy, you like I feel like my body can just keep going, but then I'm getting signs of you know a bit of redness around my eyes, which is telling me that I'm not getting enough sleep. And I know I'm not getting enough sleep because I know that eight hours is or seven or eight hours is just not enough for me. So. Um, yeah, last night I went to bed at about 9.30, I think it was. And, yeah, I woke up at about 6.30, had to go to the toilet, and I just went back to bed and stayed in there till 8 o'clock. So that's probably another reason why I'm a bit extra puffy this morning because I've, like, had that extra sleep and lie down time. Um, but, like, I'm, this is fucking working. Like, it's working. I've got a little bit of a crick in my neck, so I've got my hip bag around here. And it's still a bit chilly, even though it's sunny out. Um, <clears throat> but this, the fine tuning that I've done, which I haven't done specifically for weight loss. I've done specifically what I feel my body can't handle right now. Like, I'm not healed enough to handle right now. Like, rice and white potatoes, they give me symptoms. So, yeah, I've just been cutting out anything that gives me kind of odd symptoms and or sits in my stomach too long, uh, like I find that it's hard to digest, stuff like that. So, I'm finding that obviously that's starting, that's working, that's working because my energy is really good. Um, I feel really light, almost like my body's humming. Like I feel like my I'm at a very high vibration right now. So, hmm, it's interesting that just the little healing, fine tuning for healing, is equaling weight loss, which I guess it would. But it's just fantastic that it's happening. Yeah, I'm just really excited about it. So, yay! So, um, yeah, this is from, like, falling off my bike. That's from the other day when I bashed my leg and um, I hit a vein and it burst. <laughs> yeah, I'm a bit clumsy. So, I just got back from my bike ride. Well, kind of a bike ride. I was just learning how to use the freaking bike. Um, and... Harley had to go, I bought cleats, like, you know, you clip into the pedals so your feet are attached. And um, Harley, during Rider, had said to me to get used to the new bike because it's got completely different handles and everything, you know, the gears are all different. So get used to the new bike and then, you know, give it a while and then try out cleats. And I'm like, I bought cleats anyway because 
on the spin bike I'm used to pulling up so I want to get used to them like fast so this was the first time I took the bike out and um, I'm like in my head it's like oh I should probably just wear sneakers on the first go and then I'm like oh just you know I just gotta learn to use the cleats I just have to like you gotta start sometime right probably better time would have been after I've gotten used to the new bike but um so <laughs> My first time I could I didn't get my left I forgot to take my foot out and I always fall to the left for some reason it's just a thing um, like when I come off the like when I go to stop the bike I come off on the left side just naturally and so <laughs> when I'm trying to stop I go to pull my foot out I go to like take my foot off the pedal and it's stuck in and like you have to turn your foot to the left and I don't know something happens in your brain that it just doesn't happen you've just you've got to do it often enough that you're just in the habit of doing it because when you're coming off like everything happens really fast so the first time I fell off and luckily it was into like a, a like a little ditch that was full of dried leaves of course so you know and I just like fell and just I didn't try and stop myself I just like was like Ooh. Yeah, and then the second time I fell into the actual ground and I was like, my thumb got a little bit twisted and my knees a bit scraped up and I'm like, yeah, maybe that'll do for the day. <laughs> maybe I'll maybe I'll um actually do what I'm told now and learn to use a bike before I learn to use the cleats. <sighs> I just can never seem to do exactly what I'm told. I do it for the most part. But then there's always a part that is just like I, when I get impatient and it's like I can see myself riding, you know, and using the cleats and I want to be able to use the cleats. And, you know, practice makes perfect. And as soon as you start practicing, the faster you'll get used to it. That's my motto. But I'm still not really used to the bike. It probably would have happened anyway. That's what I'll tell myself. <laughs> but I love the bike. I lo freaking love the bike. It's awesome. So the hills that um, just in our street that I struggled to get up before and my heart rate would go up to like 100 freaking 80 plus. Um, yeah, I just, it didn't, it barely, like I got a little bit huffy puffy, but not really. So it's, it's, I'm going to be able to do this. I'm going to be able to ride up the hills and my legs are strong, easily strong enough to do it. So, yes, I can't freaking wait. I'm going to take Lexi for a walk because I could hear her all up and down the street out on the patio. Ow, 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 ow. She's just crying because it's time for her walk. And I was like, she's been for a walk, heaps and heaps and heaps and heaps. And I was like, I just, I want to ride my bike once, just for half an hour. I just, I haven't ridden it yet. So I put myself first. <laughs> just for half an hour and now I'm going to take her for a walk so yeah hopefully nothing I haven't actually done I don't think I've done any damage but you kind of never know till later on or the next day or whatever so we'll see I had fun anyway whatever I'm a klutz so second meal of the day is the same as the first my raspberry smoothie tasted so freaking good this morning that I thought I'd have it for lunch as well. And that should actually almost get me to 3,000 calories by itself. 14 plus 30, probably about 2,700. So I'm starting to notice like um, little aches and pains. So my lower, lower back on the, well, the left side of my hip, lower back, that kind of area which I've had tightness in there, you know, for a while anyway, but it's kind of like, oh, you know, like I did a good workout or, you know, bashed myself up a little bit. My right thumb, like on the meaty part right here, like I can feel that. So I did something to that, God knows how. I've got a big bruise on the inner right thigh. I think I might've bashed that into the seat or something. And the bruise that I already had on my leg, 
you can see where there was like the old bruising from yesterday and you can see where like there's new bright red bruising coming up so I'm not sure if that scratches or if it's new blood bruising underneath yeah so hopefully I pull up okay tomorrow because I've got like a full on day I've got to have my car in for a service I've got um, two extra classes I've got to do an active adults class and a boxing class and a yoga class at night and uh, pick up my car hopefully 4.30 hopefully they don't charge me an arm and a leg um, <clears throat> hopefully I have all raw day tomorrow as well that's the plan see what happens but that's the plan anyway I'm going to have my smoothie because it's not nearly four o'clock yes so I'll catch you later Little Someone was a daddy's girl. She's a daddy's girl. Can't see her very well on camera. Goodness, Abby. You say hug it into your dad. She's a spoiled one, that one.